all right what's up guys and welcome back again to the instruct tutorial channel in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to model a simple um, cup like this in autograph 3d basics basically this um, cup is very easy to design even as a beginner you can easily model this cup in autocad it doesn't take too much um, time to model this actually i choose this because um, of time so we can easily model this cup and as a beginner you can use the ideas but once you know how to use these tools you can use the idea and then model anything you you wish to model so to start this tutorial we're going to click on this um, plus icon here to create a new join environment all right so now we'll set our unit so type un and then press enter so we'll now set the precision to zero and then select millimeters for our unit and then click ok so now we are going to change the view to front view so click here and then change to front view and we now have the front view so select this and move it out of the way let's drop it say somewhere here okay so now select rectangle through and at any point i'll enter dimensions of 80 millimeters comma 100 millimeters and then press enter so you can select this tool here to zoom extend and then repeat zoom again so we can see this rectangle well now press enter so next we are going to offset this rectangle so select offset tool and then enter offset of four millimeters press enter and then offset inside now press enter now pick line tool again at and then come to where you have this rectangle at, at the midpoint and if you can't see this point you can come over to this um, tool here tracking settings i'm sorry you can come over to this tool here where you have all of these um, object snap settings so for the midpoint you can check this um, arrow here so if i check this i can see the midpoint so come back to your drawing and at this point at the midpoint draw a line straight up and then stop at this point then press enter press enter again and then draw line from here up and then press enter so now we will we'll trim this line so select trim tool and then press enter now trim this line so trim all of these lines and then these lines as well and then press enter so now we'll erase these lines because we don't need them again so erase these lines off and all right we have this so next we'll we'll give this a curve so to do that we'll select fillet so type f on your keyboard for fillet and then press enter and then from here we'll select the radius so i'm going to use the radius of um, 20 millimeters and then press enter now pick this line and this line and then press enter to repeat offset again then pick this line and this line okay so repeat offset again and now i'm going to use offset radius of um, just one millimeters for the top of the cup so press enter and then select this line and this line press enter again select this line and this line so we have uh, the shape of this cup like this so we can now select this line and then type j on the keyboard to join the lines so we now have this line as one so next what we do we make use of the revolve tool so we can revolve this cup around so to do that select the revolve tool from here select revolve and then select this um, shape here and then press enter now come to this line where you have this line select the base point or the end point and then trace to the center and then enter uh, specify the angle of revolution to be 360 so enter 360 and then press enter so you now have um, this cup like this now we can erase um, this center line all right so if you change to to realistic now you can see that this cup is going to look like this so let's 
see this all right so you can see how the cup looks like so escape and then change to front view again and then change to 2d wireframe so let's zoom and we see this cup again so press enter so still we're going to move this um, out of the way so move this down here we don't need it so next now we're going to create a handle for this um, cup so to do that select line two and let's see from here i'm going to draw a line 25 millimeters press enter and then come down by 60 millimeters press enter and then come this way by 25 millimeters and then press enter then press enter to escape so now i'm going to um, give this the handle a curve so to do that i'll use the fillet tool so type f on the keyboard to select fillet now press enter now i'm going to use the radius of 25 millimeters so type 25 press enter so for this downside select this and select this line and then press enter now repeat offset again for the upside i'm going to use offset radius of 10 millimeters so enter the radius of 10 millimeters and then press enter now select this and select this and as you can see we have um, this handle so we we'll select all of these lines again and join it so select this line type j on the keyboard and press enter so these lines are now all joined together so next we'll make use of the sweep tool and then create the circle so we can sweep through the shape of the hand so to do that come over to where you have um, circle to pick circle and at this point enter a radius of um, five millimeters or diameter of five millimeters and then press enter so you have the uh, diameter to be five millimeters so now pick the sweep tool and select this circle press enter and select the handle and so you can see how we can apply sweep tool into um, the shape so if i change to to realistic view you can see that this is in 3d shape so let's view this all right so you can see how it looks like so let's return back to front view and we have this so let's zoom in again all right so press enter and then change to um, 2d wireframe all right so we have this um, the handle of this cup already next what we'll do now is to attach this cup uh, the handle to the cup and to do that we need to create um to make it blend with this cup we need to create a little circle that will make it blend so we are going to create another circle again or do a revolve and then apply it to the to the cup here and to do that we will select a line to and we will enter a distance of five millimeters press enter and then press enter again now select circle then draw circle with diameter of eight millimeters now press enter now select the sweep tool and then select this circle press enter and then select this line so we have this so we're going to copy it so copy this select copy and move this down to this point now press enter select this again and then move it to this point let's see at this point and then move this also so select move and move this to this point so we have this so we're going to move the handle as well so select move and move this just to align with these um, circles so let's move it back again so select move and move this back a little bit all right now again we are going to move this um 
circle down here so it fits inside well. So move it from here and adjust it inside. Okay, let's move it all out and then try to fix it back. So move it out here and then repeat move. And then move this um, from here just down to this point. All right, so we have this. All right, so now we'll go to top view to see if it aligns properly. All right, so you can see the top view here. It aligns just at the center of this curve. So now we're going to go back to front view, go to front view, and now we have this. So now we need to create a surface here so that we can match the handle of the curve to the curve itself. So to do that, we'll select subtract two from here and then pick this curve, the whole curve, and then press enter. Now pick this small circle, which we have revolved or swept and then press enter. So you can see um, the, this place has been subtracted and then repeat subtract again and then select this curve, press enter and select this point. Now press enter. So you can see also this place has been subtracted as well. All right, so now we're going to place the handle um, to this curve. So let's move it a bit closer to the curve and then press enter. So it's going to be here. Now we're going to create the surface so that it can smoothly join the curve and the handle together. So come over to where you have create and then select this surface blend. So select surface blend and from here, we're going to select this surface first. Select this surface and then press enter and then select the surface and press enter. So now you can see um, the surface blend has been created and then press enter to accept this. Now repeat the surface blend again. Now select the surface, press enter and then select the surface and then press enter. All right, so the surface for the two um, side has been created. So you can see if we change this to realistic view, it looks just okay. So let's revolve this and see how it looks like. So, um, all right, this is looking almost nice. So let's turn off um, our grid lines. So turn off grid lines and then let's revolve this. All right, guys, so this is almost looking nice. We just like it to apply the material so you can see how the cups looks like. Yes, it's okay like this. All right, so escape and change to front view or let's change to another view let's say southeast isometric view so we have this cup like this so now we're going to apply material and to do that change over to visualize menu here and then select make sure here is planar and change this to material texture on and then select material so it's going to open the material menu. So these are the material menus which are available in AutoCAD. So there are a lot of um, materials which I can apply to this curve, but I'm going to go with the one I used for this um, tutorial, which is nice. So that's going to be um, 3D octagon white. So select this curb and then select the handle and then select these surfaces. All right, so we have this. So when I apply this material to it, 3D octagon white, Let's move this up to this point and then select it. So now you can see it's already applied to our cup. So now we can close this uh, material menu. And if we rotate this or revolve this again, you can see how it actually looks like. So this is just really nice the way I created or the ones I show you before we started this tutorial. 
let's move this again out of the way and place it here all right guys so this is how you can easily model this curve in um, autocad 3d basics it's very simple as you can see so first we created the the curve itself using the revolve tool and then we created the handle we created the surface blend for this um, curve as you can see you can also join um, the whole of this together so we go back to help menu and then select this curve select the surface and or let's select the curve and the handle select the curve and select the handle now select union okay let's select this uh, select this and then press enter so you can see the curve and the handle are now single all right guys so this is how you can create a simple um, 3d object in autocad like we designed this curve so guys if you have any question if you have any problem with this um tutorial please you can put your questions in the comment section and please do like this video and subscribe for more interesting videos like this um all right thanks for watching and see you in my next video